And we're live. Pink Hill already, episode 301 with our guest Shoe Nice. Seen crazy stuff since I was like five. These dudes brought one of their mom's brand new tampons out into the yard. And they like to dip them in water and they'd open up like umbrellas. Yeah, I just was, I said, give me that, I'll eat it. And I thought it was just like some kind of a rolled up thing from a first aid kit. No. I, ate, I think I was sick, so I ate it, but it was dry and I didn't realize that tampons open up in your throat like an umbrella. So I'm choking in the yard, like spraying things out of my mouth. The kids, even the bullies were scared, so I knew I must have been screwed up. My mom came out, yanked the tampon out of my mouth, <laughs> smacked me in the butt, and the rest is history. I mean, through. Be like, all these doctors would be like, um, we're really not sure we can do anything here. Friends? Well, exactly. Not friends, because I was just a good-looking guy and a class clown. Usually, class clowns are goofy-looking. Yes. I mean, it's just like I had all the jocks, the burnouts, the women. I mean, everybody. The teachers were hitting on me. It's like, look at all that death and destruction. I'm all about feeding the homeless. You guys gave me $25 for a bottle of wine or scotch. I bought glue. Seen a Mexican old man broken down on the side of the road. I said, well, you need gas. He couldn't understand, so I went over to his gas tanks to jump in. We went over to the place. He took his can, got some gas, went inside, came back. He had Doritos, a six-pack of beer, some Slim Jims. I said, you gave me gas? He's like, yeah. The thing was like a quarter full. We went back. He didn't have enough gas to get it into the line. So I was like, all right, bro, I'm out of here. But Woody's Gamer Tag helped you out today. I'm glad we didn't give him the hundred. Gotta be like 28 steps high. Let me take a shot of this glue, guys. I appreciate Please it. Please do. Please do. That's that's great. He is pouring the glue into his mouth. It's just flowing. Ah, oh, how does it taste? Mm. Conversation. It pisses him off. So me and Harley are on the phone one night. I got this hot chick next to me in uh, Massachusetts. <laughs> We're going to get together and collab. Uh, he shit-faced as me. Uh, uh, she's like, get the fuck out of bed if you're going to sit here and talk to that idiot. I said, that's Harley from Epic. You have no idea he was on the phone, bitch. <laughs> So I went to the living room, I said, all right, Harley. The next day, he's like, dude, you were so drunk, I don't even know if you heard or whatever. Six months later, this dude gets on his Twitter with 350,000 followers and says, Shoe Nice can't even keep a chicken bed. I was on the phone when he got kicked out. That's when I sent out the Shoe Nice Army wolf pack and we trolled everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and we just disliked everything, but I love Harley. I'm the Shoe Nice Harley. Army wolf pack. I'm a badass mofo. I'm sure. gonna tell you, everybody, right now, I'm just born a badass. You can take all the classes you want, have all the belts hanging on the wall. I can't, I can't, I, can't, I mean, I've had so many dudes kick me in the face, and I'm like, Nike, Adidas, or Reebok, give me that thing, you know, and just show them that seven years ain't shit, 4 a.m. outside of a bar. But I was never a fighter. People always just wanted to test me, because all the women were hanging around me, I could break dance as a white guy, so at 4 a.m., like, I'd be jumped by, like, seven, eight dudes, and I couldn't get away from it. Then the cops would show up, I'd be like, chill. I'd be fighting the cops, but you never knock me out. My great-grandfather was semi-pro boxer. My grandfather was. My father had the Muhammad Ali speed bag. I did that. At, I was doing <laughs> My grandpa was a professional boxer. My dad had a speed bag. <laughs> <laughs> he had that family pet lineage really broke apart. <laughs> and, then, and now I eat glue on the internet. <laughs> But I'll take ice or saying vanilla nice. You know the Kardashians had me banned from Twitter? Yep, I'm not on Twitter anymore, guys. Sorry. Wait, how'd you get banned from Twitter because of the Kardashians? Give us that. that well, this, this goes back to me eating Kim K's with JJ off the cover of a magazine, and it got like 100,000 views, so they must have just been going through YouTube, <laughs> and it came up. So she tweeted to me, this is before Kanye, she tweeted to me, oh my god, or they were just dating. She goes, this guy on YouTube with these really blue eyes just ate me off of a magazine. Weird. And I didn't even know these dudes were like, yo, Kim Kardashian just said something about Twitter about you. So I went on, and um, I didn't even have a Twitter account, but I found the tweet. And I said, oh, shit, that's me. What's up, black, white, black, white? It's my turn, right? So she blocked me, but they continued to watch me. <laughs> and then I got an email from something. I'm going to do a quick rendition of my whole life in under a minute. Under a minute? So this is a stand-up that you've done. I'd like to hear it. <laughs> All right, I'll do some stand-up. Um, we'll pick the crowd. We'll say uh, Austin, Texas. Sidebar off the main strip. All people with cowboy hats and stuff, you know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, sure. Hey, everybody, what's going on tonight? Anybody drinking over there? Fucking been watching you guys for an hour sipping off that. Hey, watch it, bro. I never hear that voice at paid shows. All right, check it out, guys. I'm the opening act. I'm not getting paid, and you didn't pay to see me, so there's no pressure here. I've never seen so many backward-ass country fucks in my life. Sick just to be in this place, you know what I mean? My parents drank so much beer when we were kids, we had to use their old koozies for arm floaties at the public pool, you know what I mean? You think that's funny, dude? Yeah, either way. I'd have Lisa Beach on one arm and going fishing in the other, you know what I mean? <laughs> my parents were so drunk on Easter, we'd have our baskets would be hidden in the neighbor's house, you know what I mean? <laughs> So is your girl. God damn. Thank God you're behind that fence or whatever they put up there. Yeah, so um anybody doing the bull tonight? Huh? Somebody get on that bull right now. Take the pressure off of me because I really don't have jokes for you, hillbilly fucks. First off, WWE is fake as shit. And if you're spreading that down to your next generation, I just I don't feel for you, man. I don't. How's that, man? Yo, 